morning. It's Thursday. The 22nd of June. We're at Bristol, which is a gorgeous station. We'll so come back. We'll, we'll come back and we'll talk about Brunel tomorrow. Today we have to catch our train, which so is already late. <laughs> Oh, 42. It's a, it's a minute late. It's one minute. We can live with that. We can live with one minute late. Yes. Today we have a very bizarre day. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do it. All the stations. It's 9.33, we're putting into Westbury. Do you remember Westbury? <laughs> Where we changed before. Try not to before. think about it. Uh, Sorry, Westbury. There might be a little special something for us here this morning. Jeff. Mr. Flatto. Hello. Vicky, I feel as though I know you already. <laughs> I've watched so much Sorry. of your, uh, Sorry. your oove. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should be vlogging this for the authentic experience. <laughs> this is becoming very meta, isn't oh, it? Yeah. We're at Westbury. Where we oh, come no! <laughs> <laughs> but look, the BBC are here. <laughs> look, the, the cameraman is on camera. That's going to freak him out. Uh, out. So today's awkward station is Pusey. There's a seven hour period between nine and, and three o'clock where it only gets four trains, yeah. two in each direction. Uh, completely ir irregular. It has a very irregular service pattern. 10.02 on platform three. It is on time. What this is good news. Good news. Vicky, if, if the BBC are hassling you, just let me know. I'll okay. just, you let me know, right? Okay, so, so David, um, why do you like trains? What's, what, do you have a favourite? What's your favourite station? Do you have a... York! <laughs> York, of course! <laughs> York, York has the... the, the the emotional connection for yes. me because it's going home. Yeah, okay. And also it's got that sweep, that curve, it's yeah. beautiful. And it is. It's the, it's the great sort of um, train city. Thank you. Pusey. Tick. <laughs> Have you just found the most delightful waiting room ever? <laughs> it's got lovely old benches and chairs and some great pictures of the area. There's a picture of Alfred the Great, Alfred the Great, King of Wessex. Uh, strong connections here in Pusey and it said that at some point he went off to fight a battle somewhere and he left his wife in charge of the town the area and when he came back he um, uh, granted to the people of Pusey uh, the, a day of celebration and over the years that has become the Pusey Carnival which is the largest apparently carnival in Wiltshire. That's the BBC spoiling my shot. Just wanted to point out the awkward thing service. Trains to Paddington. Oh, it's, there's one at 6.22 and 6.33, 10 minutes apart. One, at, one in the sevens, one in the eights, and then the one that we just turned up on the 10, and then nothing until 1.45, and then again nothing until 4.27. In your time here at, at Pusey, what, what have been the biggest changes? Probably the growth of, uh, of commuter traffic. When I came here, we had well, we, we had virtually no um, C sticker holders, and slowly it's built up. Not that many trains that stop here not at Pusey many, every day no, at the moment. Certainly not off peak. No, we, okay. we, we could do with a few more really, but um, it's not too bad peak time when most of the people are travelling, yeah. the commuters, you know, up in the morning, back in the evening. Yeah. It's not really too bad, you know. What made you join the railways? Well, I've here? always been railway, like, right from uh, down here, you know, always, always, I've always been, you know, keen on railways. Hi, we need to go to Bedwin. This is a, this is a nice man from Valleywide Taxes. Okay. Use Valleywide yeah. Taxes when in the Pusey area. Recommended by Rob on Facebook. Thanks Rob. Thanks Rob. This is it. The and yet station. Bedwin gets a better service than Pusey. Yeah. BBC are going. We're at Newbury. Platform 3, we're getting the stopper. It's me and you again. It's me and you again. Yeah. yeah. Back at Reading. I've been to Reading three times. 
I wonder which is our most visited station. Somebody will work it out for us by the end. It'll probably be, Reading will be up there. We're doing the Swindon Shuffle because we, because of the complications yesterday, we've got like um, Kimball and all that to do yep, off yep. of Swindon right now. So we're yep. heading for Swindon. We're at Swindon, running from platform four to two. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And everybody is running for the Cheltenham train. I think it's a hell connection. Well, everyone's going for it. <laughs> Go to the front, Vic. They held it. <laughs> we haven't done Stonegate today. I don't know when we're going to do it. When are we going to do it? I don't know. Where'd you go? That's quite a step down. This is Stone House. Uh, we have to wait here to go back to Swindon, but the trains are only every hour currently, and then they go down to two hours. Is that right, Jeff? It's a not a frequent. So we, we can have a look around Stonehouse. No, here's my cunning plan. Oh. Stroud, Stroud, is only two miles back down the road. Is it Stroud or Stroud? I think it's Stroud. Okay. That's enough time to get a taxi back to Stroud, which I think is a much more quaint <gasps> town. Dang, you, you better, you can't so, just, you can't just fling the word quaint around Is it. that not how it works? We've got to go back through Stroud and uh, the other station, Kemble. And Kemble's also amazing. I'm practicing my curtsy. But because of yesterday's mess up, we won't actually get to get out at Kemble and look around. But we'll so give you I'm some- I'm practicing my curtsy for nothing. But let's have a quick look here, and then to Stroud. The Budley smells nice. Got the bus. Came to Stroud. Stroud's nice. We just got chatting to the lovely GWR man in the ticket uh, office and he's saying that because this is a listed building, he, they can't put ticket barriers in, so it's what they call an open station. I didn't realise there was a barrier for a, bar a barrier in putting barriers in if it was a listed building. You better just walk through then. Okay. <laughs> Can I see your ticket please? Now yesterday we were meant to do Stonegate, Stroud and Kimball because it all went wrong. We've had to do it the other way and that means today there's no time to spend at Kimball which is a shame because we have loads of things to tell you about Kimball and we're going to go for a walk around. Can you remember what all the things were about Kimball? I have a little list. <laughs> uh, Princess Anne is sometimes seen on the platform because she lives nearby. Uh, there was an RAF base close by and it's the ex-training ground of Red Arrows and they used to do sort of fly pasts and things there. A Lotus test area? What Form do I mean by that? Formula One. Oh, Formula One. There's an old water tower. I think on this side, Jeff, if you look now, there's an old water tower on the platform. There's a pub on platform two and a new passenger bridge. And I believe the source of the Thames. Oh yes, it does. This is where the Thames starts? Yes. So Kemble is a great town. Oh. But we don't have any time to get out here now because of because it went, because it went wrong it. yesterday. We but Kemble's great. Swindon. <laughs> We've been told we can't come to Swindon without going to the Steam Museum, and we're heading in that direction. But we've just uh, walking past what looks suspiciously like uh, some railway cottages and some sort of railway depot, and we're on Station Road. Vicky. train and tea and a mini train and a Hornby's shop. It's like a, a, a train enthusiast seven. We did manage to make it into the steam museum in time. Uh, so let's have a cup of tea instead. So this is the site of the Swindon Works, which were originally the Great Western Railway sheds for repairing all of the steam engines um, that came through on the Great Western Railway. It's now 
a shopping centre. There is a museum, a National Trust building just uh, opposite us as well and the model railway village as well which we walked past to get here which is very similar to Bourneville in the principles of it being a village specifically for the workers and in them having um, a high standard of um, living conditions as well as support such as medical and healthcare. We just did milk so we made it to Trowbridge, we're changing, we're going back to Bristol. That is the end of another long day on trains. But we did so we, we did everything as planned and nothing was late or delayed or cancelled. Or if it was, we caught it. We, yeah, we made it, we made it happen. Thanks TJ. How would you like to end the video? Are you happy being in our video, by the way? <laughs> I have no choice. I have no choice. I'll get him to sign a release form. <laughs>